Hey dudes and chicks and neither of those rules don't apply to you. Welcome to Pig Frost. My name is Katie. Today, I am going to be popping this palette's cherry. It's the Stone Cold palette by Notoriously Morbid. It just launched. It's an all shimmer palette. <clears throat> But have no fear, it's really functional and really usable, and the color story is so fucking cute. And actually, like, oh my god, <clears throat> it's hard to talk with all these dicks in my mouth. Um, I don't know what it is about this color story. It's just, like, so soft and, like, soothing to me. It actually... I don't know. It makes it gives me a strange feeling, like a soft, warm, fuzzy feeling. I know that sounds so fucking stupid, but I go more into it later. Anyways, I'm super excited about it. I really love this color story. And honestly, <clears throat> I kind of said in the video, like, one thing that is, like, kind of sucks about all shimmer palettes is that you have to... I didn't get to use as many of the colors as I wanted, because when there's mattes, you get to use the mattes and the shimmers. However... I figured out really easy, creative ways to use a lot more colors than I thought I was going to be able to. And look at this fucking look. It's so cute and this was so easy. So anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look or hearing my final thoughts on this palette or seeing the little swatchy poos or if you just like to watch, then hang out. So I'm going in for the swatches and I was thinking, should I do these on my hand or should I do them on my arm? Oh my gosh, these fucking colors are adorable. This is Revenant. It's so pretty. Oh my God, it's got like a golden, almost greeny shift. So fucking cute. Dang it. This is going to be a good time. And this is, these silvers are going to be, if you guys are into, this is Stone Cold Stare. So I guess the deal with this palette is it's about re stories of revenge. So like Medusa is like revenge against men. Damn, that is a really pretty color. Oh, shoot. I fucked up. <laughs> Real shocker, huh? No, not me. I didn't fuck up. There's no way that happened. Silver isn't my favorite, but like I, I dig it. I can dig it. Like if it has like a little bit of a undertone or whatever, but silver isn't my favorite. And then this is, what is it called again? Petrified. This is a really fucking cool color. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love this. Oh my God. It's a green with a pink shift. You guys know I fucking love that. I'm all about that green pink life. Let me really dig into this. God, I don't want to. <laughs> Can you guys see that? We all know that Notoriously Morbid does a little better if you use a brush. I don't know. I never do. And I always like feel like my swatches aren't doing it any justice. But I will tell you, I have it in my inner corner and it's fucking beautiful. This is Frenzy. And this is like a dusty rose basically literally just a straight up dusty rose it's like my favorite color um lipstick color teddy bear it's like just a really nice like deep dusty raspberry or i am also wearing this on my lower lash line fucking beautiful okay this is medusa's kiss which isn't a color that necessarily i would be Ooh, <laughs> never mind <laughs> oh my god it's like uh I don't know. It's like a fiery orange with like a little bit of a magenta shift with like a yellow. Like it's like literally like fire, like magenta fire. Oh my God. I'm so full of shit. This is actually like one of the best fucking colors. What the fuck? I'm an idiot. Psh. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> like that Batman and Robin. Psh. It's like the Batman and Robin meme. It's like world famous at this point. This is, what is this? Serpentine. If you know, you know. This is a really cool color too. This is the one I have on my lid and honestly, like it changed the game. Oh God, it's so fucking pretty. 
one of the things that I like about Notoriously Morbid Shimmer Formula, some of them, is that they're like so, what's the word I want to use? They're, they're like soft. They're like, a, it's, it looks soft on your eyes. Like my eyes look so soft. And honestly, normally that isn't like necessarily like my favorite, but they're not so soft. So this is Vengeance. Oh my God, listen, I used to live above a tattoo shop and fucking I was really good friends with the tattoo boys, right? Oh my God, I walked in and fucking one of the boys was giving a huge fucking black work tattoo of the word vengeance all the fucking way down somebody's arm and it was already done and they forgot, didn't put the A in there. And so I walked up to the owner and I was like, dude, vengeance has an A in it. And he's like, no, it doesn't. And I was like, it fucking absolutely does. And so anyways, that guy got a fucking big old tattoo on his arm with the word vengeance and it was misspelled. <gasps> Can you believe? Totally black. Unfucking believable, right? Talk about fucking your all time fucking, oh my God, talk about a time you really want to disappear. At least when you give somebody a bad haircut, their hair is going to grow back. There's no fucking taking back an all black fucking filled in fucking lettering, like old English lettering of, uh, you know, of a tattoo. Like, holy fuck, man. Think of how fucking mortified and you just want to vanish. Like you would just want to evaporate right there because if I've given somebody a bad haircut, that's how I felt. Imagine how you would feel if you were a tattoo artist and fucking did some shit like that. So anyways, um, that was, what was? Vengeance. And that matches this lipstick like so fucking perfectly. That would be like such a good... Such a good little combaroo here. Okay, this is Granite Goddess. Don't you guys just love that? It's like a, that theme, like revenge. Like fucking, ooh. This has, oh my God. Oh, it's got a little like corally pink, sparkly, shifty goodness in it. Oh my God, this is super sparkly. I bet you anything in the sun, this is like fucking granite goddess, like for realsies. It's got, oh my God, the cutest little pink corals. I wonder if you can see it on my finger. They're like, it's just like, so the sparkles, I'm gonna try to go in again so you guys can maybe, you're not gonna be able to see it. I don't fucking, I stink at this, you guys know that. I'm getting better, but honestly, look at my arm right now. Look at how fucking pretty and shifty that is. I'll, I'll try to remember to put the mirror up. Okay, this is the color right here that's like, it's called Gorgon. And honestly, I love it and hate it. Like, it's brown, but it's so fucking beautiful. You know what I mean? It's like a brown, and I'm like, nah, I don't want to use a brown. But this brown is like so fucking beautiful that it's like, oh my god. And I just, it has a little bit of a base to it. I wonder if I could actually maybe, maybe try to use this in my outer corner. It's just both of those bottom two shades are so sparkly. You know what's a word I feel like I don't use enough on my channel is glimmer. Glimmering. Glimmery. I feel like that's like the next step, da step down from glittery or sparkly. It's like glimmery. And I feel like Notoriously Morbid glimmers frequently. Like, they're like the glimmer fucking queens. I literally wiped that entire fucking swatch sesh on my pants. <laughs> Shit. Anywhoosies, these are the swatches. Oh, okay, let's see. Oh, you can totally see that. You can totally see that pink to green. There we go. Sorry guys, that's like the best I could do. That wasn't actually, I'm actually pretty impressed with that. Any hoosies. I just, ow. Let me see if I can. This color right here is fucking the tits. You can totally see the pink shift right there. So fucking good. And then let me see if I can get this right here. Let me see if I can get you to be able to see that at all. Can you see the corally pink? Glimmer. <laughs> Let's get into the look. 
Okay, so I'm already primed in my P. Louise primer in Rumor 02. I think I'm gonna use my uh, Sorceress Smoke palette. Okay, so here's the idea that I have. I was either going to take and just put a light wash of a light color in the crease and kind of go a little high with it. And then I'm gonna go into Eucalyptus and then do a black thing. So here's what I, cause I kind of, I feel like if I do a black, like, you know, that little wing thing with the black that I do every once in a while, I don't do it very often. It's not my favorite thing to do, honestly. Like I don't really love, I don't really love a wing. Like it's not my favorite thing. So anyways, I kind of don't want to do that because if I do do it, then I have to take it all the way up above my crease. And what I kind of wanted to do was make this just be like a light wash just in the crease and then actually do something else. So anyways, I don't know exactly what I want to do, but. I just wanted to Pretty. That looks really pretty, especially in my monitor. Look at how nice that's just building and getting so dimensional just with one single color. And it's a pretty light color. It's like actually pretty light, so. I actually felt, and I have to say this and I have to be careful to say it exactly how I mean it, hear my heart when I say I was a little disappointed that this was an all shimmer shadow because I don't get to use as many of the colors in it at, in one look. So that kind of actually, it, it's not like, it wasn't like disappointing that it's an all shimmer shadow, uh, all shimmer palette. Like honestly, the color story is giving me some kind of weird feeling like a warm blanket or like hugging my kid. Like I was saying in the comments to my friend, like it like gives me some kind of like, it's like a very comforting color story to me. Like I'm not sure why. Maybe it's like pink and green are like really comforting colors, like that kind of sterile green and like kind of that mauve like pink, like, I, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but like those greens and those pinks are kind of like, um, they just feel like comfort colors to me. So anyways, I told one of my subscribers who I, her and I are, have like really great conversations in the comments, like I love her so actually. I just was telling her, it gives me like this weird feeling, like I can't explain it, like it feels like hugging my kid or like, I don't know, I'm not exactly sure. So anyways, okay. So basically like what I really wanted to do was just keep this really like stick to the fucking color story. Like, okay, so as you can see, I feel like these could work in rows like this. And so the reason why I wanted to do a wing is because I feel like it works in rows like dark, middle, light, dark, middle, light, gray, like reddish orange to silver. Oh, you know what? Now that I really looked at it. So I was going to obviously go with the green row. What if I, okay, so here was another thing I thought. I thought, what if I try to use that shimmer as a deepening shade? But I really, I don't want to do that. Let's kind of go like this and I just want to do something. I want to do something really fucking cool to do this palette justice. Like not what I always fucking do, you know what I mean? I just want to do something really, like, different and cool. I feel like this palette is really different and cool, and I want to, like, do something that does it some justice. Okay, I don't know exactly what that means. Um, I'm going to take... I don't know what to do! Stupid. Uh... I feel like every time I try to put like a light wash of shimmer on the lid with NYX Glitter Primer, it doesn't actually like turn out the way that I want it to. It, do it never works as well as I want it to, but I'm going to try it anyway. And then I'm just going to do whatever I have to do to fix it. So, okay, here's my quandary. So what I really should do 
is just take this right here and just wash it over the lid and it would look like so perfect and then like leave it alone but then like you guys won't get to see and so what's going to happen is I'm going to put this shade on here and it's going to be a little bit too dark and then I'm going to be left with nothing deeper in the outer V and so there I'm going to be in a fucking dilemma and so the reason why I'm considering using this either doing the dark wing and doing the things is because this would deepen up my outer V enough for this to not look a little fucky, but I'm just gonna try it. I'm just gonna go for it and see what happens because this isn't really about my look. It's really about like showing you guys what this palette can do. And honestly, like I wish I could like use more of these colors. Maybe I can, maybe I can on the under. Okay, so I'm just gonna go like this and tap, tap, tap. Give it a little tappy. And I'm actually gonna kind of pull it up right here. And then I'm going to use the back side of this and I'm going to go into that middle. What is that shade? We got to know the names. Serpentine right here. This is going to be a good fucking time, you guys. So this is like not a usual brush that I would use for this, but oh, was I dead fucking wrong? Bitch, I think I was. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I was so wrong. Please forgive these. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. <laughs> <It's> stupid. <laughs> well, you know what they say about assume. Dumb. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to fucking get over that now. That's so hysterically funny. I really did that big song and dance. Thought I was going to need to. God, that looks so cool. Literally don't even need anything in the back. Party in the front, business in the rear. Or how does it go? I keep trying to use that expression and it just isn't working for me. What is it? What is the expression? Someone tell me. Wait. Business in the front, party in the back? Oh, some somebody help. Oh my god, that looks so good. I'm done. The look is done. Just kidding. I'm not done. <laughs> I'm almost fucking done though. Okay, and this palette, okay, so I was also in a quandary about which one of these palettes to use. They are a little bit different of a feel, but they're sort of the same. I feel like they have the same color boundaries, I would say, but like they're very different, very different um, undertones that give it a really a different feel. This is more spring. And this is more fall. Um, I definitely like that's without a doubt. And so I was kind of in a quandary about which one to use. Quandary. I'm just going to use that all the time and sound like I'm so smart. <laughs> I'm so intellectual. <laughs> I'm thinking so hard all the time. I'm like using words. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. It's a little early. I mean, I woke up late, but early is whatever time you woke up, right? And that's the contradiction of my life. I woke up late and it's so early. That's my whole fucking life. Welcome to my life. I'm going to do then, given the, I think I'm going to take this color Vision and I'm just going to do a little tiny washi poo under my eye so that I can use a pink. So I'm going to use a, oh, I know what I'm going to use. I'm going to use my Wayne Goss number 17. Did I tell you that was my Zoeva 228? And then I'm going to use my Wayne Goss number 17 and I'm going to go on my under eye and I'm just going to kind of go like this. Oh my God, this is going to be so cool. And super easy too. If I wasn't like running my fucking yammering on and on this whole time, I would probably already be done if I would have just like been able to trust my own instincts, which I can't. I've led myself astray far too many times. I've betrayed my own trust in a thousand different ways. Now, so, okay, so what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna probably use this brush, which is mm, the equivalent of this mm, for the under eye. I don't know why I'm being so weird. Did somebody fucking put drugs in my nap? Actually, what am I doing? There's a lot going on here. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of go like this and I'm gonna get a little bit of NYX Glitter Primer and I think I'm just gonna kind of do this thing where this is gonna be like super different than pretty much anything I ever do ever. So I'm just gonna kind of tap that along. 
and I mean it's like so messy like I don't even know what I'm doing and then I'm just gonna go in with the other side of this brush and go into this color which is called frenzy and I'm just gonna pff, fucking cute that's what I'm gonna do I'm just going to, I'm just pulling it down, kind of making it blunty. I should have actually went like this and gone a lot lower with that mat. I'm going to. And kind of just pull that down. Ooh, that looks so fucking good. Shoot. All right. I really wanted to go live, honestly. God, that was so fast too. Like sometimes things just happen so fast. And then I'm gonna go like this and kind of, I don't know how that's gonna go, but. Wow, I'm really excited about that. That's super unique for me and like not, it's like was so fucking easy, it's crazy. Okay, now I'm gonna go into, mm -hmm. I'm going to go into, I'm gonna use this little something, some kind of pencil brush I got, my Voldemort VJH39 I think it is right there and I'm gonna go into this green which is called petrified <laughs> and I'm gonna use that can't tell if anything's actually going on here oh yeah and I'm just gonna tap this on and quite frankly don't need to work too hard at it and then I'm gonna go into this pink and I'm gonna kind of just pull that down and this is called revenant these names are good. <laughs> they always are. Notoriously Morbid never disappoints when it comes to names, do they? Boom. That looks so fucking cute. And then what should I, should I put a little brow bone highlight? A little bit of the green, perhaps? Cute. Okay, I'm gonna go finish this with my face and I'll be back when I'm done. That's fucking crazy. Oh, I'm gonna use one of these lippies too. God, these lippies are fucking like, they get me hot. Fuck, I'm gonna use this one for sure. I don't know if it's gonna match as well as I want it to, but I don't give a fuck. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. God, that was a fast video, huh? So, this is the manifesto, the piece de resistance. I use my Rouge and Rogue eye wigs in Slayer. And I actually switched up my, I, I actually just changed one like millimeter of where I've been placing my lashes and they look so fucking good. Like I'm in love with the way my lashes look just from like scooching over just a little teensy tiny. So um, the lesson being like, you never know what the slightest shift in your like normal, like routine, like the way that you do things over and over and over again, they, they are working for you. And like, if you just like switch it a little tiny bit, like make a tiny minor shift, it could like make a huge difference and like, um, be totally game changer. Anyways, I use my Kaleidos blusher. I don't know what it's, it's lo-fi peach and I actually decluttered the other one and I feel maybe like I kind of like it, but what I did is I just went back and forth and like mixed the two together to create like a really nice glowy blush. And then I used my Mirage highlighter by Unearthly and I just did it on the cheekbones. And, um, oh, so a super fun thing I did was I used this Pixie. I really like these multi-chrome liners on my waterline it's just like this pink to green shift and it's like dimensional it's dark and one from one angle it's a dark it like gives me some depth and then from another angle it's like super pink see you can see it right there so pink but then like right here totally green so anyways it was a perfect match i use this lippy and cursed priestess i was going to use the other one cold gaze but I, it just, I it just wanted, I felt like this one just kind of went a little bit better. And so anyways, I'll probably do like a little short or a reel or, or whatever, both doing the lippies. I did have to put quite a bit of this on to get the opacity that I wanted. So I just don't want any of you guys to be like surprised by it. It's super cute, super like their Mystic Metallic formula. Actually, you guys know, um, I only like a couple, I, I only really like a couple of lip formulas and like their Mystic Notoriously Morbid's Mystic Metallic formula is one of my favorites and so I actually like ordered replacements when they had their buy one get one recently so there's not a ton of lipsticks that I actually buy replacements for. These ones, Unearthly, Kaleidos, you guys know the ones that I love the most and so um, anyway super cute. I'm gonna do a you know little testy poo for you guys somewhere. I'm not sure where but um, yeah so that's it. This is the look. Okay 
this palette, literally when I opened it, it I was like, it just gave me this like soft, like loving feeling. I'm not sure how to fucking explain that. And also the look that I pulled out of this is so fucking pretty, so fucking cute. Also really on trend, for lack of a better word, it's really on trend with things that have been like really like color stories that have been really speaking to me lately, but also I know that they've been speaking to you as well. The mint greens, the sage greens, the corals, the dusty corals, like these kinds of color stories, the fucking dusty mauve with the with these greens. So the point of that is, is if you have the Sorcerer's Smoke or you have the Groovy Garden or both, this is like a really cool you the, either one of these palettes like just goes with these like with this palette like peanut butter and ladies and so if you're the kind of person that can just like use a shimmer which honestly any of this silver shimmer I have a feeling is going to be so fucking amazing but if you're the kind of person that you can just throw a shimmer on the lid and you're good to go but if you kind of need a little bit more a little bit more than those two palettes which I know a ton of you have those two palettes like you're my people we all have those palettes like period so that's it I love this motherfucker it's so cute I actually it's just so cute. I'm really glad I figured out a way to use. Dude, honestly, I love this look and it's so different for me. And if I wouldn't have been filming, I could have done this look in literally 10 minutes. 10 fucking minutes from start to finish. So I know that speaks to your guys' wild hearts a lot. You can use my code LOST, L-O-S-S, oh no, it's LOST15, L-O-S-S-E-D-15, if you want to save a little bit of money, 15%. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next. Hit the like button if you like this look or if you just like my sparkling personality and my boyish charm and hang out with me in the comments because I fucking love it. If you got like halfway through this video and you're like, oh my god, she's so pretty, she totally opens her big fucking mouth, then go check me out on Instagram. I don't talk as much on Instagram, sometimes not at all. And if you were like, don't sugarcoat it, Katie, why don't you tell us how you really feel, then go check out my Patreon because I don't hold anything back on my Patreon. Um, it's actually growing, really. It, it's cool. It's really cool to watch it grow. Yeah, I'm a grower, not a shower. Thank you guys so much for watching. You could have been anywhere, but you were here wasting your time with me, and I totally appreciate you. Later. Slayer!